Okay, um, this is the, I believe this is the last part, and I'm going to show a reason five. I'm going to, uh, I'll show a little of record, but right now, uh, my registration, uh, something wrong with the registration code. Uh, right now, um, they have an issue that, uh, they put the registration code, this, the code is, the registration code is the same as the, uh, authentication code and it's supposed to be the same so right now I, I can't run the full version yet I only only um, can run the demo part of it so I, I emailed um, Propeller about this and they pretty much know uh, what's going on so hopefully um, they'll um, do something to straighten it out um, that part out um, they they told me that they're going to manually put the uh, code in, uh, you know, instead of me doing it, you know, so that means they're going to have to go to the system and the website or something like that to, to uh, actually put that in. But anyway, uh, here's reason five, um, you know, like I said on part three, uh, to show you what the Dr. Dr. Rex can do, you know, with your recycled uh, uh, file. Uh, Samples, you know, you use the keyboard. It actually turns your loops into samples into a, like a keyboard fashion. And, you know, um, basically I'm just showing you the workflow of it. You know, I'm not a person who's, you know, pro or anything. I'm just an average, you know, guy who's like, you know, I heard about Reason 5 and all that. It's like, yo, know, I, I mean, it'd be nice. That'd be nice to have it on a computer, you know. I got a lot of songs and stuff, you know, like CDs and things like that. And, um, yeah, maybe one day I'll probably just, you know, like edit, you know, edit a little bit, you know, probably make something, you know, just for personal, it's a personal thing. But anyway, I mean, I, you know, uh, I'm not really the expert on it, just showing, basically what I'm just going to show you. What it looks like in the workflow and everything. Um, well, most of it's going to be like what's, what it looks like. So, um, yeah, this is this is what I pick up from part three. Just did this little, this little sample thing. And you, yeah, you can actually move it around. Do all kinds of stuff with it. I don't know, just all that, kind of like that. Change the size, tempo, all that stuff. And I don't know, maybe just let's let's check this out. Yeah. I'm not making it perfect here. Yeah, I just pretty much give you basically what what it is, what is what it's like, you know, what to see when you, when you start messing with this stuff. So, um. But uh, this is like to close um, to close this, you know. Like okay, I'm pretty much, you know, got it like I want it. Just uh, just hit the back button on this right here. And it takes you to the bars blocks uh, section on the sequencer. And um, and and this is a cool thing. But I mean, I'm not. I don't have a keyboard or anything. I don't have any equipment except this. Uh, Except the computer, my, my my PC keyboard, mouse, you know, basic computer stuff, and um, you know, I mean, it's real nice. You, you can, um, in order to um, make a sound or anything, you just gotta, you have to use this pencil, and then draw um, how long you want it to to do your editing, and um, just double click it to get in there, and um, you can. Use the cone right here to do your beats. To have it recorded here, and just just by pressing record. Like one, just you know, I'm just messing around. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, just go ahead and start recording here. Okay. Sorry about that. I still have that going on. The Dr. Uh, Octorex. So I'm going to mute it. And I'm just going to use only the cone. So uh, let me check out the cone here. 
I'm just going to do basically the, the tap button here. And you can add, once you do that, just to get an idea of it, you can edit, whatever. So I'll just, just show you what it, pretty much what it's, what it's doing. Like that. Okay, you can actually change the velocity, I mean, like the highs and lows on it. You know, like if it's loud, too loud, you can lower it and all that stuff. You know, all kinds of, anything you can think of. Anything you can think of, you can do. And um, but we'll go ahead and just double click on this, the the stop button so you can get to the beginning. And let's hear hear what's going on. Okay. Yep. So that's pretty much what that what what it sounds like. We go ahead and do the playback. All right. And that's pretty much, uh, you can do either that or you can use this, like a, like a keyboard type, you know, if you're used to that. So there's so many ways you can actually put your um, sounds in on here. Change the tempo, you can do just by anything, you know, like you can make it, if it's not perfect, you can, you know, like position it through, um, you can add a position through uh, like when you hit one of these dots you know these uh, blocks you can um, change the position here like to fine tune it or change the length of it or change the note or the velocity is the like the loudness of it so you can do that and that's basically what you do on um, on all of these you know right here you know, the instruments you know and so, um, anyway, I just, I'll show you pretty much what I did, um, did a demo test, and, um, go ahead and start from the beginning. And that's what I, did. it took me time to do that, you know. But yeah, you know, it just proves to you you really don't need any any you know, like instrument equipment or anything. No keyboard. You don't have to have a keyboard. You just you know use your mouse to do it. You know, and you can do some more. I'm sure you can do some more complex stuff. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much uh, an idea of, of what it is. Um, here's the other instruments I'm gonna show you. This is uh, they got a lot of them. The uh, subtractor. There's a uh, what is it, synthesizers. These are synthesizers right here. I heard this one. You can do the bass line. You know. Um, let me go ahead and um, throw some. Let's see. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, once again, I got to put the pencil and mark in. So, yeah. Before I do anything else, and double click. And then you got this keyboard. Yeah, like that. And I'm not going to spend much time on the rest of the stuff. I'm just going to basically uh, be quiet and just let you see what's on as far as the rest of this. This is another synthesizer here. Well, maybe I'm not going to be quiet. I'm just going to basically show you all the, just tell you all the synthesizers. The Maelstroms. Um, oh yeah, the NN19 digital sample. I heard that was a really nice one. Uh, nice thing to, probably one of the most important samplers. Um, you know, I think that's what if you if you don't have the file extensions for Doc Doctor Rex, you know, you can use that. Then you got all kinds of, you know, like tons of this stuff right here. This is the best stuff. Right here. Can add on. There's so much you can add on, you know. But that's pretty much what it looks like. So anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I said the fifth one. I'll give it a fifth part, of part five. I'll record, but I'm not gonna spend much time on it because, you know, like I said, the registration code is not right. All right. Um, uh, I'll go ahead and do the next one, part five.